you've ever taken a physics course, you probably are familiar with the question you see behind me. And as you can see, it's not a new question. The person to whom it's attributed was born in 1688. At the root of the question and the reason it is asked is that it helps us understand the difference between perception and reality. And since I doubt anyone tuned in today for a discussion on physics or metaphysics for which Berkeley is famous, I'm going to skip the answers that depending on the definition of sound can be either a firm yes or an equally firm no. Instead, I raise the question as it relates to communication and our frequent use of email as a communication tool. Because I define communication as an exchange between two or more parties. I'm going to go on to argue that email is not communication. It is messaging. And just like the tree in the forest makes no sound if no one is around when it falls, email that is not open or does not generate a response is not communication. Here are two great examples. We have an annual YPN event coming up on October 26th. An email for sponsorships went out more than a week ago. The response, crickets. I get it. We're all busy. And when we see a message that might be of interest, tell ourselves, I'll come back. But remember, mental notes get lost in the trash. The outcome is that we forget and don't revisit that message. So last week, a few phone calls were made. I remember seeing something about that was the common reply as we discussed the event. Could you please resend me the information? Which of course I did. This is communication and it resulted in two sponsorships. My point, you wanna communicate, pick up the phone. We all need to stop kidding ourselves that an email is sufficient. Market conditions. Because we're so close to the beginning of the month, there's little point in taking much time since we gave a pretty broad look last week and our monthly market conditions video will be showing up shortly. However, since we supply data to more than 15 organizations, publications, municipalities, and school districts regarding what is going on in the market, it's always top of mind. So if you have questions or are seeing something unusual, give me a call. Events. We went through to the end of 2023 last week, so let's just take a quick look up until Thanksgiving, which is less than 45 days away. Oh, and by the way, 2024 is about 82 days away from now. Are you ready? It is likely to be a very busy year. Next, I want to speak briefly about 2024 and the prospect of a new MLS emerging. First, if you are finding yourself being distracted from your business of listing and selling homes, I apologize on behalf of organized real estate in Southeast Michigan. You didn't ask for this, you didn't want it, and you certainly can do without it. Since the likelihood of a new MLS rose, we've been working diligently to minimize disruption and to provide clarity of information. As a result, the GPBR team is willing to field incoming calls and questions regardless of whatever decision you make. Second, the addition of a new MLS will not disrupt your access to information about all the homes for sale in the area since all who operate, own, or are a shareholder in an MLS belong to the Great Lakes Repository, or GLR. And while the current situation was not anticipated at the time, the GPBR is proud to say we helped lead the change for all stakeholders in the area to become members of the GLR. Who knew that it would be so critical now? I also want to let you know that for over a year, we've been working on updating our forms library. This means instead of seeing a note somewhere that it was last updated in 2002 or 2012 or 2017, they are at least current, 2022 or 23, and a lot has changed. These forms are available to our members, of course, but we also have added that they are available to all realtors. After all, isn't that who we're supposed to serve? events. Tuesday, the 17th is our class on home equity conversion mortgages. The 19th is coffee at Bakehouse 46. And your YPN annual event is on the 26th, the Total Sports in Harrison Township. November starts with our annual breakfast and meeting on the first. Happy hour is at Someday Brewing on the second. NAR convention runs from the 12th through the 17th in Anaheim. Well, back here, we have an RPR class on the 15th and coffee pop-up on the 16th. Finally, Thanksgiving is on Thursday the 23rd. That's it for today.
Until next week, be productive, successful, and profitable. And as always, stay safe. Bye.